Welcome back to Dow Twang. I'm Dave. So we've got kind of a jam band type track here. It's an A mixolydian kind of progression. It's G, D, and A. Okay, a couple days ago I did a, a video on here just to show uh, how to make a simple practice loop for yourself, you know, to jam over in GarageBand. And when I sat down today, when I got done with lessons, I was like, ah, I got to work on a, you know, a YouTube video, I'll come up with something, you know, and that stuff was sitting right there. And I was like, ah, I don't know. You know, I was like, okay. <laughs> so I took those little pieces of stuff that I just used in that example and added like a piano part to it and stuff or whatever. Here's what we got. Mixed it a little bit. I thought, ah, not bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this to um, explore like, you know, another uh, a rhythm part. Like if we were the second guitarist, you know, in a jam band or something, or um, I didn't think of this till just now. You could, I could, I could have taken away the, the rhythm guitar from that track and we could play just the stuff we're getting ready to do that I did in that intro. Um, but it sounds cool with both guitar tracks. So we'll try that. So the first thing we want to do is map these chords out in a bunch of different, uh, positions on the neck. Okay, so the first one I did in the demo was there's a G. The next chord's D. So I want a D that's in the neighborhood. See how already you've got like a difference in the direction of the voicings. That's going to sound cool against one another, the two guitars, is it right? That's that's kind of the idea. You want to diversify your second part, right? And even if you're just the only guitarist, you want to, you know, be diverse throughout the piece and not always necessarily playing the same part. That's not always true, though. Sometimes that's cool. You know, think of like a, a, a reggae, you know, tune where somebody just skanks the guitar the same the whole way. And that's great. That's a nice arrangement. Um, so this is just more of an exploration approach. So we got a G, D, then we want an A that's right there in the neighborhood. Okay, now if I'm on A and the thing starts over on G, two doors down, right? So now I'm on G, now I want a D in the neighborhood. Well, that's handy, isn't it? then another A. Okay, then again, I'm just going to move that two doors down for uh, to start over on G. There's a D, and there's an A. Okay, so my sequence there was... right now there's some real estate <laughs> right there already okay and so that's just kind of like if i just you know hit them as block chords you know on a piano or something i'm just and i in the demo that's the way i struck them um the first time around well the second time i just started kind of messing around with syncopation and different kinds of you know right hand stuff but also a few little you know, embellishing notes around it. Okay. Use your ear. If you can't see that exactly, my hand, I'm adding the six of a D major triad. Five, uh, five, six, five. Let me go down an octave to sing it. Da da da. Then right to that A. Then I went up and played those two notes again. Played those two notes again, right? Sounds kind of cool. Almost like you're the right hand of a, a, a piano, rock piano style, right? This is really fun. And it's it 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 it's something that you can do. Don't worry about making the rhythm just like mine and all that. This is really is something that's going to come out just in your own musical uh, language, and that's what makes it cool. 
So. Same little. See, I'm just kind of doing the the next door neighbors of things. And you don't have to really guess what they are so much because they're kind of all, you know, shared by these chords. And that time I went up and played the five, six, root nine. I'm used to kind of doing stuff with my uh, other fingers on my right hand. When I slow it down, it doesn't come out <laughs> like I'm used to. But you can hear them. And you get a little bounce going in there, and you just start feeling good and seeing what happens. And check it out. I won't do anything that fancy. hard to tell we are you can jump anywhere all right it's like I snuck a little a major pentaton right that's going to work with a mixolydian and there's a lot of other stuff we might do a part two on this one actually or you can um we could use you know uh, some more you know scale tones to jam around and and you know one thing you could do if you're ambitious is to take those shapes and kind of go ahead and seek those out <laughs> kind of just hear all that mixolydian stuff kind of fitting into that a mixolydian um but i'm gonna leave it focused on this rhythm thing man because it's really cool and you notice i just was using my pinky really for these embellishments and there was it started to add a nice amount of melodic notes mixed in there but they were all kind of uh, uh, true to the the rhythm feel, right? There's nothing kind of excessive in there, right? If there was, then <laughs> my apologies. And I guess I just like to to uh, listen to myself play excessively, <laughs> which many of us probably do and don't realize it. Um, the only other thing I did was after a while, I think at the end of that intro, and when I was just jamming around myself on this, I got to where I was just doing the bar chords but doing like a, a an offset rhythm okay now that's really probably another you know, kind of rhythm video right there, that kind of stuff. But uh, instead of coming down, um, I'm kind of anticipating the, the, the downbeats, but that's kind of more what's on the backing track, right? So what I'm doing is coming in behind the beat. Okay, now that's a little little more going on there, right? With the kind of the funky uh, 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 right hand stuff, just kind of the feel of that, right? But I just put that in there because I want to encourage you to just explore rhythm. You know, don't worry about oh, this doesn't have. There's no soloing on this. I'm out of here. This is this video is a drag. <laughs> you know? I, it, there's so much that you can do that's fun and musical and really 
adds a lot and is really satisfying with these triad shapes and stuff, but you want to get it to where you're really letting yourself go in your right hand when you're using that stuff and, and just letting it get funky and, you know, even trashy a little bit sometimes, you know, just go ahead and, you know, give yourself a lot of wiggle room on this to experiment and make mistakes and try different stuff. Keep going around with this track that'll have a little bit here at the end of this for you. Um, and you'll see, man, once you can really move those and, and make them kind of snappy and tight when you move them, all this other rhythmic stuff will just start to pop out. It's really cool. Um, leave me some comments so I know what's going on with everybody. I hear a lot from this, from the same people and don't get me wrong. I love that. Um, and it, it, it's really fun. Um, but I know there's a lot of folks out there that, um, you know, have some input, um, about what we're doing and we'd like to hear from you too. Okay. And thanks to everybody that's moving over to Patreon with us. We're having fun over there. And for, um, just a little bit of money each month, you can support, uh, myself and, uh, my family and the channel and keep this whole thing going. All right. Appreciate you. Talk to you soon.